So dinner's almost ready. Come in, sit back, relax, and I can't wait to make this three course dinner together. Let's get right down to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off our menu with some tempura king prawns. I'm gonna show you a little technique to get a really crispy batter on those prawns. So here's what we've prepared earlier. We're gonna butterfly our prawns. This allows them to cook a little bit more evenly and they don't curl up in the fryer. So once our prawns are prepared, we'll move on to our tempura batter. So we have plain flour, an egg, and some sparkling water. Get this all combined and just set aside. So prepare your station. You have prawns, some plain flour, and your batter. And we're gonna level up this batter. We're gonna add it to a cream whipping siphon and we're gonna really aerate the batter as the greater amount of air bubbles within the batter itself, the greater the heat transfer, which results in a crispier batter. So charge your cream whipper, dispense. You can see how well aerated this is. So take your prawn, dust with flour into the batter, then straight into a fryer about 200 degrees centigrade. It's gonna cook really, really quickly. Now a secret technique, I drizzle with a little bit extra tempura batter to give these extra little flakes of crispiness onto those prawns. And we're simply gonna serve this with a carrot and courgette Asian salad. And it's Asian by adding pickled ginger to bring that Chinese element. Here's our king prawn tempura starter done. So now we've wet our appetite with the starter. We're gonna move on to our main course duck breast with buttery fondant potatoes, a red wine sauce and cavolo nero. So first, fondant potatoes. We've got some large jacket potatoes. I'm going to use a template to get these hockey puck shapes. Generous amount of butter into a pan. And add your potatoes. Next, chicken stock. So fondant potatoes is a great way to cook the potato. It combines a lot of different cooking elements. You've got the butter caramelizing on the bottom and you've got that chicken stock gently poaching that potato. Next, on to our duck breasts. So season with sea salt and cracked black pepper. and we're just gonna get these into a cold pan. Bring up to gentle heat, and this is just to render the fat slowly. Duck breasts have a thick skin and a lot of fat. While our duck breasts are cooking, we're gonna prepare a quick red wine sauce. So red wine into a pan, reduce by a half, then add some red currant jelly. And this is gonna really balance out that red wine sauce by boosting up the sweetness and this goes perfectly with duck. So our duck has been resting for about 10 minutes. and it's cooked beautiful medium. So we have our buttery fondant potato, some blanched cavolo nero cabbage, 
and our duck breast. Serve with your glossy red wine sauce. And now onto our dessert to finish off the meal. We've got a black forest panna cotta. Let's get right to it. So for our panna cotta, we've got sugar, vanilla, milk, cream, and gelatin. We'll get our two gelatin sheets, just soaking in some ice cold water. Next, take our cream and let's get this on to the heat. Infuse into your cream, your sugar and your vanilla extract. Now bring this to 60 degrees, it's the perfect hydration temperature for gelatin. Just squeeze out those gelatin sheets straight into a hot cream to melt down. Once that's thoroughly combined, we'll add our milk just to balance the richness of this panna cotta so it'll be silky. So it's going to be silky smooth. Strain off, then into our molds. To the fridge, overnight. Next onto our cherry compote. Frozen cherries, sugar, and some corn starch. Frozen cherries into our pan with the sugar, and we're gonna let this cook down for about five minutes. And we'll add our cornstarch and this will thicken up and we have this beautiful glossy cherry compote. Next to decorate this dessert we're going to make some tempered chocolate. So take three quarters of your weight of chocolate, bring to 55 degrees, take off the heat then add the rest of your chocolate Bring this to between 27 and 28 degrees. Back on to a very gentle heat. And we're gonna bring this up to between 31 and 32. Now, tempering chocolate is important to get that snap as you want to adjust the temperature in these ways to get the right formation of fat crystals within the chocolate structure. Leave to set and we'll break into our chocolate shavings. Final element, we've got some fresh cherries. We're just gonna half, then macerate in some kirsch to bring on that adult element for this panna cotta. Now demold your panna cottas that have that perfect wobble. Next, our cherry compote. Place your chocolate shavings and your marinated fresh cherries. It's just the best way to finish. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure to like the video and leave a comment in the section below. Give the recipes a go, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So I'll see you next time.